Hi, this is Josh with Resort TV One. Today's Magical Mondays is going to be a bit different than normal because we didn't have a vlog exactly ready to post, but we will have one ready for tomorrow. However, a lot of you saw our live stream on Facebook over the weekend where we live streamed from Disneyland and Walt Disney World at the same time in a split screen stream. And however, some of you don't have Facebook or weren't ever able to see the stream on Facebook, so we wanted to post it here on YouTube as well. It was really cool. We were able to show the uh, castles side by side, city halls, all kinds of different things. We walked basically all around both parks to show you the differences and the similarities between Disneyland and Walt Disney World. And we want to thank Britt and Crystal and Andrew from the Aviation Photography Crew. If you see them on the stream, that's their name. Uh, they were out there in Disneyland streaming for us, and so we appreciate them. And so now, without any further ado, we hope you enjoy the Coast to Coast Disneyland and Walt Disney World live stream. Hey everyone, this is Resort TV One. And we have a fun little surprise. All right, hey everybody, it's Josh. And this is Britt. Britt. <laughs> With Resort TV One, and we are live coast to coast right now. This is our uh, great walls of Disneyland right now. So you can sort of see the castle, but it's funny to see the split screen. We're exactly in the same place right now. So on the left, you have Disneyland with Britt and his uh, crew from aviation photography. On the right, we have Walt Disney World. Looks like actually it's sunnier here. <laughs> yeah, it is. Actually, it may end up uh, raining a little bit today. Oh, wow. Um, Alex, uh, you can do this on Facebook uh, if you just start a live stream and invite somebody else to join. Hey, Richard, Arjons, how's it going? Mandy Mack, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> hey, Rachel Murillo. Damien, hello. Nick, how's it going? <laughs> so how is the stream holding up, everybody? Pretty good? Bob Rice says it's incredibly awesome. That's cool. Let's see how many people we can get on here. I don't think I can make mods right now. At least I don't know how to do it. But hopefully, I think we'll be good. So let's rotate back towards the train station. Quite a difference there. PEI Mandy from YouTube. Hello, everybody. Oh, just had the castle show. So here's the train station. Sound quality is a little bad. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess there's probably going to be lag when you're going coast to coast. It looks like the Disney World stream is smoother, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Yeah, on mine, it looks a little choppy on the Walt Disney World side, but uh, okay, it may so just probably be... probably just wherever you are. Wherever yeah. We are. Okay. Well, let's walk down Main Street and see what happens. Hey, Arthur. All right. Let me head down the stairs. And I will try to I will try to download this video later and post it on YouTube for anybody who missed it. Hey, Heather, how's it going? Wendy, hello. Big Al, hi. <laughs> Chat's going a little slower. I can keep up with it. <laughs> hey, Edson Viapri is on, Viapri is on there. Sorry. <laughs> That's your city oh, hall yeah. right there, right? Yes, this is city hall. Look at the difference. Hey, Julie, John Cleveland, both streams look good. That's awesome. Megan, hello. Victoria from South Florida. Hey, Johnny. Wow. Nick says hi to everybody. Real stream on here. Okay. You have to go around here and then go straight. The two streams thing works where somebody starts the stream and you invite somebody else to join. So Nick and Andrew actually, not Nick, sorry, Britt and Andrew actually did this a few months ago and we decided to try it again. This is our fire station with Goofy. Original yeah. apartment. And up there is Walt's apartment. Yes. 
Ours doesn't have that. <laughs> hey, Maureen, Nancy, how's it going? Both streams are crisp and clear. That's awesome. I wish we had the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, though. Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty cool. All right. Let me turn around here to show the Emporium. Okay. I'm going that way, too. Yes, the left is Disneyland, and the right is Walt Disney World. Yeah, side by side. We're live on the left of Disneyland and on the right of Disneyland. Is that really cool? <laughs> there's their Emporium and there's us. Hey, Lewis, Julie, both streams look great. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Isn't that wonderful when it works? <laughs> so, unfortunately, Gosh, I can't. The sound step. level is not as strong as the Disneyland one. Okay. I can't step back as far as Josh has. Since our streets are already tiny as they are, with the uh, walls up all the way down Main Street, you can only yeah. get so far back. Huh. This is magic. Yes, we really are live across the coast, coast to coast. <laughs> Magical News Live. Hello, one of our partner channels. After this stream, I'm going to do some 360 uh, views down Main Street uh, for a video later, so that'll be fun because it's a beautiful day here. Walt Disney was amazing, that's for sure. It's like we have a premier annual pass. Yeah, and, and Bob says this is the first Disneyland Walt Disney World live stream. Actually, I witnessed, I think, probably what was the first one, and that was Britt and Andrew. <laughs> so for those who are curious why all these walls up all the way around Disney's Main Street, they're redoing the original, well, I guess it's not quite original, but some of it is, the horse track. They're completely replacing it all the way up and down Main Street. So they have walls up all the way from Town are. Square to the Hub. Sorry, guys. We got Via Pre, Via Pre Project on here and uh, Geeked Out Getaways. And we are live coast to coast right now. Uh, hello, hello. At the same time, 3,000 miles. That is really cool. Uh, what's that? No, uh, Britt, one of our uh, one of our uh, friends, yeah, Britt and his whole family, yeah. Aviation, he's aviation photography on the stream, so yeah, he's, they were out here last week, and then they're oops, sorry, then they're out again, so yeah, they're out back. That's awesome. Is that a 360 cam also? Well, we have got all kinds of technology here. That's all right. Yeah, it's uh, awesome. well, join us for a walk down Main Street here, guys. We're gonna walk down Main Street in split screen. Here we go. Yes, so yeah, guys, check out those channels, Buy Free Project and Geek Out Getaways. Great, great channels. I can hear you, Josh. It's just uh, it's on my phone, it sounds very quiet, so I'm having to put my ear really close to the phone. Yeah, same with me, Britt. I can hear it, but I have to put my ear really close to the phone. <laughs> it's also really loud. There's a lot. Since all the people are kind of congested into one side here, it's very loud. Sorry if the uh, audio is choppy or whatnot. Uh, it's the first time we've done this, so we really don't know what the lag will be like when you're streaming at 3,000 miles across the country. <laughs> Still pretty cool, though, right? And we are pretty much at the end of Main Street. <laughs> you feel left out. Will you show how Star Wars Land construction is going at Disneyland? Oh, yeah, I guess uh, that's up to Britt if they want to walk over there. Uh, we can try. The stream quality is not all that great and can get really choppy over there, but we can try it out. We're going to have to rely on you guys to let us know when things get choppy, though, because I can't tell from um, my side. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, turn around really and look tell, at... So do let us know if it's, a, if it's getting a little choppy. We'll... We'll do the best we can. I know there's uh, Britt has mapped out pretty well the areas at Disneyland that are better than others. Let's go so this is our Coke first. Corner. What's that? This is our Coke Corner. Oh, cool. I guess we don't really have a Coke corner. We have Casey's corner. See, he's already halfway down the street, and we're still walking. It's 
it's that much different as far as the, the size. Disneyland is so much smaller. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's funny. It yeah. took about the same amount of time it takes for you to get halfway down Main Street as us to go all the way down Main Street. Yeah. You don't realize how much bigger Disney World is until you're here. Sorry if I missed the chat a little bit. I'm trying to dodge a pretty hefty crowd here. All right, I'm going to head towards the castle. There we go. Okay. There's the castle. John says this is awesome. Both streams, Lewis says, look good. Very cool, very cool. <laughs> I wish we had a nice view of the uh, castle at the moment. I apologize for construction walls. We got vlogging, live streaming, 360, all of it. Technology on fleet, right? <laughs> Uh, Jeremy, they are uh, replacing the horse track all the way down Main Street in the hub and Town Square. Yes. And what? how long is that supposed to take, Britt, the uh, horse track replacement? You know, I don't know. I think it's only supposed to take like a month or two more. They're actually working on it right this second. You can kind of hear jackhammering every now and then. I actually do. Um, and I think uh, Corey was asking, how does this work? Um, I think you have to rotate your phone sideways to see the split screen. I'm not sure. Yes, if you do it vertically, it's picture in picture. Okay, so yeah, rot if, if you're seeing picture in picture, rotate your uh, device to landscape mode, and you'll be able to see both sides in a split screen. Avery, how's it going? Jennifer Patterson, that is uh, from Our Theme Life. That's Jen from Our Theme Life. <laughs> There you go, guys. You can see it right there very clearly. Disney World and Disneyland's Castle. Live. We all want to Perfect shot, Britt. Sorry if I can't hear you uh, at the moment. It's really loud in front of the castle the, right now. No worries. Got to get a shot of it. I don't want to screenshot it because I'm afraid I, I'm afraid I killed the stream. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pan around just a little bit. You guys can see how crowded it is in front of the uh, castle right now. Okay. For us, this is really crowded. That's like right in front of you. It's like, I said everybody. And this, it, it, Britt did this once, and I was captivated. I said, "We, we," and he was, and I were both like, "We've got to do this again." You know, Josh. One thing I think would help with this, if I had a Bluetooth earpiece, that way I think uh, I could hear you better. I thought about that too, and um, maybe a Bluetooth earpiece. The iPhone's finicky about Bluetooth audio while you're doing video, but. Um, I thought about just plugging in a headset, but I can't use a headset with a smooth, so I'll have to work that out too because it would be would be nice to be able to hear better. <laughs> yeah, especially when it's uh, the my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note Eight is uh, pretty loud, but it's not quite loud. Like if it gets really loud in where we're standing, it's very kind of hard to hear things. Yeah. Oh, they asked if you like the Mark, Mark Seven monorail. Yeah. All right. Hey, Josh, do you want to do selfie mode and say hi to everybody, and we'll do selfie mode as well? Yeah, let's do that. We'll say hi to our group, too. They want to do selfie mode. Let's do it in front of the castle. So they've got a crew, too, so we'll say hi with their crew and our crew here. I didn't know you guys were going to be around to join us. That's so awesome. That's awesome. We're going to go up in front of the castle, and we'll do selfie mode. Hey, there they are. So, to, in order to hear it, I have to bring it close to us. Right, we'll pull it away and wave. Hello. Oh, looks like we lost Josh there.
bought me. All right, there we go. So the the uh, rotate camera button is awfully close to the X to close the screen. See how close they are? See, there we go. That is dangerous. Yeah, so I, I killed them because I was yeah. trying to rotate the camera. Let's go in front of the castle here. Well, we've got Viapri Project and Geeked Out Getaways here. I know it's hard to get everybody in, but I'll try and try and do it like this. Hey, everybody. Hi, Crystal. <laughs> Hey, Brad. <laughs> Andrew will be here soon. Project and Geek Out Getaways, as well as Aviation Photography and their crew. Is our Andrew and uh, is Andrew there with you? Sorry, I can't hear him. Sorry, we can't hear at all. I'll go stand over Andrew, here and listen. Is Andrew there with you, or is it just you and Crystal? Oh. Uh, just me and Crystal right now. Andrew is on his way. Okay, cool. All right. I'll stand back here. I'm going to go ahead and um, yeah, we better switch it back on. around. There we go. Okay, All right. So, now I can hear everybody again. <laughs> uh, let me see where I can hear you again. So uh, where is the best signal in Disneyland? We can walk around a little more. Where should we go? You said Tomorrowland was bad. Uh, Tomorrowland can be bad. Um, you know, when you're doing the, the video stream, it's not too bad. It's mostly the areas right now by Star Wars Land that are really bad. But we have no problem, it seems, going through Adventureland over to uh, New Orleans Square, all that. Okay, let's do that. We'll go up. Once this band goes by, I'll go over towards Adventureland. Hey, everybody. Okay. Chris Bird. This is being streamed through uh, Facebook. Hey, Heather. I see Nelson on here, too. Brianna Tyler, Michael. There you go, guys. Enjoy a marching band here for a minute. All right. All right, I think we're going to try and move on here. So we're heading to Adventureland, right? Yeah, let's go to Adventureland. All right, guys, we're heading to Adventureland. <laughs> they said uh, Tomorrowland's a little rough in Disneyland signal-wise, so we're going to try and stay on the, on the uncharted territory here. Let's see. I guess maybe that back this way. This is so cool. Love this. Thank you. Isn't that awesome? I love your shirt. Here we go. We have a little show going on over at the uh, Royal Theater. Oh, yeah. I wish we had a little stage like that. We don't have that. Hey, Paula. Yeah, it looks like it's... Uh, Looks like it's Belle and Beast story right now. Oh. How's the stream holding up, everybody? Is it okay? We've never done this before. I know Britt and Andrew did it, but we've never, definitely never done it with this many people watching. <laughs> And to give everybody an idea of just how small Disneyland is in comparison, I'm already at Adventureland. And I'm just now turning the corner. They're already on the bridge. Well, I was going to say, it's, you turn the corner in Disneyland and you're on the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle, and off to the side cool, here yeah. is the Tiki Room. Oh, wow, the Tiki Room's really close. And it's probably one of the more crowded I've ever seen the Tiki Room. Wow. And this is our Dole Whip right here. Everybody says stream is good. Oh, and you got your Dole Whip right there by the, uh, in, right there by the bridge. Hey, Timothy. Right Actually, on. here, I'm going to back up a little bit and go back and show the Adventureland sign. Okay. I'm still not on the bridge yet. <laughs> Everybody says the stream is good. That's awesome. I see on my screen it's a little choppy, but I don't know how it looks when you watch it. There we are. Hey, I see Miss St. John, our chorus teacher on here. Awesome. 
Uh, Julie, that we have more expensive, I think, prices overall for here at Disneyland. Our our annual passes are almost a thousand dollars, and we only have two parks versus I believe they're what nine hundred ish over there for all four. Wow. Our, our tickets uh, for the Gold Pass, they're, um, for the Florida resident, they're about $600 for the Gold Pass. I'm not sure what the okay. non-resident pass is. So if you're just joining us, on the left is Disneyland in California. On the right is Walt Disney World. Seven hundred for the out of state. Okay. <laughs> Heather says the screen works better on the on the tablet and phone than the computer. Okay, that's good to know. All right, now I'm going to pan around because we just had somebody join us. What's up, Josh? Hey, everybody. That's uh, uh, hashtag Andrew the model. No, it's oh, there's not. Andrew the model. <laughs> Let's keep going. I don't want to interrupt your, uh, your flow here. So this is our uh, jungle cruise over here. I'm still Actually, it's around the, the corner. This is, the where the, you park the, this is where you park the strollers. Everything costs more in California. That's what I've heard. <laughs> I like it. It's so much smaller than that. He's already jumping through the underpass and getting close to the flying carpets. But you guys don't have flying carpets over there. Yeah, we don't have that. In fact, our adventure land is really just... Uh, I pan over to here. That's Indiana Jones. And then over here is our Jungle Cruise. And that's pretty much all we have here. Sorry, guys. We're major traffic jam here. <laughs> So Indiana Jones is over there somewhere, I think, right? Yeah. Right now we're on, uh, this is Bengal Barbecue, one of the uh, more well-known uh, little restaurant places here at Disneyland. And then over here is the Indiana Jones ride, which is 45 minutes. Here's Jungle Cruise. Oh, there's your Jungle Cruise here. I'll pan back to ours. Not working the cast of the TV. Yeah, I don't know how this technology. I think it's probably better on a mobile device. This is pretty, pretty new stuff. <laughs> pretty cool though. There's yeah. the Jungle Cruise on the left, and here's ours. See how long is your wait right now for Jungle Cruise? 65 minutes is what it says. Ours is 15 minutes at the moment. 15 minutes. Their Jungle Cruise is 15 minutes right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, can we cast ourselves over there? What was that? I said, can we cast ourselves over to Disneyland? We'll just trade you places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have fast passes for our Jungle Cruise. Oh, well, maybe that helps with the wait time. Yeah. We only have, uh, in Adventureland, we do have the fast passes for Indiana Jones, um, but that is... It over here, Tarzan's Treehouse and Jungle Cruise do not have uh, fast passes. Okay. Huh. Yeah, we don't have any. Uh, I guess we don't have the Tarzan Treehouse. We have the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. There it is right there. Let's see your treehouse. And then our treehouse, which I'm coming up to right now, we have to go past Indiana Jones to get to it. Yeah, I'll pan over to Indiana Jones as I go past. Some guys just walked by and said, nobody's ever going to watch these things. Well, we got 50 watching right now. <laughs> and then here is our Tarzan's treehouse. Yep. 
somebody said that earlier. Nick said somebody posted on his channel that you know he begs for money or whatnot. And I said people both post that on our channel all the time. Haters gonna hate. Oh, here's Tosh from CFL Park Hopper. She's got a channel too, and she's one of our partners, CFL Park Hopper. And we are live at Disneyland and Disney World. You see it. So there's the difference. Ours doesn't quite look like a tree anymore. Yeah, ours is more. Uh, I know it doesn't grow, but our vegetation is dense, denser on our fake tree. <laughs> you can see on theirs, it's like kind of uh, a little bit less vegetation. I still can't believe it. it's nicer, sunnier here than it is in California. <laughs> I need a Bluetooth ear. I didn't think about it. I guess uh, we can. All right, on. and then. Yeah, I'm going to head back up the stairs towards Tiki Room. Now, your Tiki Room's in a completely different place, I think. I guess I should have gone in reverse order, because if I go reverse order through Adventureland, then we hit the Treehouse first, then we hit uh, Jungle Cruise, and then Tiki. Isn't that funny? So it's actually backwards. Their, their Adventureland is backwards from ours. <laughs> Which yours is first, so I guess ours was backwards. <laughs> oh, you're on the riverboat already. Holy cow, how'd you get to the riverboat already? Yeah, yeah. you just come around the corner and you're already here. <laughs> It would take us about it would take us about ten minutes to walk to the riverboat. Just like that, we're out of Adventureland and now we're in New Orleans. Okay, well, go ahead and head over to Pirates and we'll look at we'll look we'll compare Pirates because I'm right next to Pirates. All right, I just have to turn around and there's Pirates. There's Pirates <laughs> right there. Oh my goodness. Right, yeah, like literally, he was in Adventureland, then he turned the corner. There was the riverboat, and then there were Pirates. Walk and walk and walk. So don't worry if you missed the earlier stream. It's going to go up as a regular video, and I think I'll try and post it on YouTube for anybody who doesn't have Facebook or who missed it on the Facebook stream. And then our yes, Pirates is currently small. 40 minutes. How much is it? 40 minutes. Okay. I know ours is longer than that. And uh, we've got the Pirate tutorial going on over here. Oh, I love Disneyland. Don't get me wrong. It's just funny how much smaller it is. I love Disneyland. Disneyland is amazing. Yeah, even the line right now for Pirates is kind of spilling out into New Orleans. It goes, if I pan up, it goes all the way up there. And finally, it Pirates. <laughs> Oh, we're at 35 minutes. That's not as bad as I thought. Oh, you're five minutes less than us. Yeah. I think Disney World is, I think Magic Kingdom is about twice the size of Disneyland, if I remember correctly. Yeah. But remember when they and here, I'm going to go they around. Have much money to buy all the land. <laughs> Here you can see just how long the line is because we don't have the super long queue that you guys have there in Florida. So our queue spills out into New Orleans and it looks like it goes quite a ways. This is ours right here. In fact, our queue is still going into New Orleans. If you look on the left there, there's rope lines. Wow. And it looks like it turns right there. So to give you an idea. All right, if I look back, the line goes from all the way around here and then all the way back down to that tree. Wow, that's crazy. And then, of course, we have the view on the left side. Here. You guys don't have these big wide open spaces at Disneyland. This is a huge plaza right here. Yeah, exactly. I wish we had a little wider spaces. When this park gets busy, it gets really crowded quick. Uh, well, I'm sure that the uh, 
I'm sure that the safe operating crowd level is a lot lower there just for the fire codes. Yeah. Well, and actually, if I spin back around, look down by the water, there's Tiana. Oh, cool. And then behind us over here, we have the Haunted Mansion back there. And then we have uh, the New Orleans band playing. Oh, and Julie says, Walt Disney will learn to hide the line so it's almost trickery. You think you don't have to wait as long. Yeah, Disneyland, the lines are pretty much all out there right in the plain view. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go into New Orleans here. Yeah, maybe we should head over to the Rivers of America and we'll be able to see our, uh, our uh, river. This is our New Orleans square, which you guys don't have a New Orleans, do you? <laughs> Hashtag really old hopper. <laughs> Oh, here you go. Here's more of the Pirates of the Caribbean line to the left here. It goes over the bridge, which is over the line that goes into the ride. So it goes through that switchback, comes back, goes up over here. Then it goes back, goes around, goes underneath this bridge, and then it ends up going into the ride after you switch back a few times in wow, line. that's crazy. Here, I'm going to go to the very front of Pirates here. And here you can see the line down there. It's so funny. They're still at the river, and we're still in Pirates of the Caribbean Plaza. I know we're not going fast. So here we go. This is the main line for Pirates once you go through all the switch ba uh, boxes. Yeah, it is. There's our, there's our friends, Viapri Project, Geeked Out Getaways, and CFL Park Hopper. <laughs> so go check out all these channels, guys. Geeked Out Getaways, Buy a Free Project, and CFL Park Hopper. Yay! We're going to head over to the river. Oh, there's the and something new at the very top up there, above Pirates, that used to be the Dream Suite during the uh, Year of a Million Dreams. Yes. And now it's actually, we found out, being converted into a restaurant that you can actually rent every day and i want to say it was fifteen thousand dollars to eat there and you can bring 35 people oh my goodness there's no exclusive dues like club 33 though wow oh and jenna's on here hi jenna and johnny chu and honora jankowski yeah so jenna's on here usually she's with us but we got a whole crew here on both sides of the country <laughs> yeah thanks al our John. We're getting to things a lot faster than you. So, like five minutes away. Because people are just spacing. All right, when we got to Pirates, turn around and see the boat. And he's like, I have to walk 15 minutes. To get We're over by Splash Mountain right now. <laughs> All right, we'll head towards our Splash Mountain. Now, we actually have to walk quite a distance to get to our Splash. Because we have to walk past uh, Haunted Mansion and New Orleans. Oh. Well, so here, I'll start walking that way. We may, we're going to get caught by the parade here in a minute, too. So that's a, a this way. That's another thing, too. Our parade is just limited to the uh, Main Street and all the way up to Small World. So over here in uh, Adventureland, we don't have that. Oh, is Jenna watching right now? Yeah, Jenna's watching. Oh, hi, Jenna. Oh, and for those of you who would like to know, up there is Club 33. That window there is into the restaurant, and these balconies here, you can actually go out and look at all the people. Oh, wow, there's Club 33, guys. That's cool. So... Most of the top story of New Orleans is Club 33, parts of the, they've, they actually have an exclusive club in Club 33 for specific members. Oh, wow. So there's a lounge room that only specific members can go into. It's really cool. I didn't. All right, almost there. Exclusive room. 
Oh, there's Tiana. Hi, Tiana. <laughs> All right, we're about to pass our haunted mansion. It's funny your Splash Mountains are such a different place. I think Splash Mountains our overlay place. for uh, Nightmare Before Christmas is gone now. Oh, so you got regular haunted mansion now. And we have a 45-minute wait for haunted mansion. We're almost to Splash Mountain. Yeah, I'm using a smooth, and I think Britt is using the DJI Oslo. A smooth Q. Oh, you're using the smooth Q. Okay. He's almost there. <laughs> Hope our Splash Mountain is closed at the moment, but I can go get a shot at the front of it. Here we go. Splash Mountain. Here we go. Oh, it's stuck right. Ours is stuck right now. I see. I see the ones up there too. Oh, there we go. Those are fairly similar. That's fairly. That's pretty cool. Oh, they're very similar, actually. Yeah, they are. Almost carbon copies. Yeah. So ours, uh, you might not be able to see it, but they uh, looks like the entire drop is being worked on right now. There's uh, scaffolding and construction crews in there. Okay. Yeah, ours is working, but it's currently not running. <laughs> They're stuck. Oh, there they go. There they go. Almost looks the same, though. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of work going on in ours. Yeah. Splash, move on down splash, the road here. splash. <laughs> Yeah. Yours was down. And now, there, now theirs is open, right? Yeah, theirs is open at the moment. And ours is down. And ours is down, yeah. <laughs> All right. In just a second here, you'll be able to see some of the Star Wars land uh, progress. If I turn uh, the corner land, here. By, by uh, Frontierland, I forgot that. Yeah, if you look the crane back there, that's our Star Wars land being built. Oh, that's really cool. You can see the Star Wars land construction a little bit. I guess there's this by Frontier Land. I didn't know that. So if you look, that little right behind the can, uh, canoe over there, that's the new tracks that they built in rerouting the train here. And then right behind it, you can see some of the uh, mountainous uh, designs that they're building for Star Wars land. Oh, wow. Yeah, I do see that. I see the mountains. <laughs> we have our own mountain here, Big Thunder, but yeah, our, our, our Star Wars land is way over on the other side of the uh, park, or the land, the world. Okori is amazing. Yes. Yeah, and, and you can't really see further. it from here, but you can, you can actually see the Mickey and Friends parking structure as well because they've cut the trees so low. Oh, wow. Yeah, at nighttime you can really see it. Here, we're going to go down this ramp here. This is our Hungry Bear restaurant. And if you look just to the, uh, here, Andrew's going to point with his finger where the parking structure is. Oh, I see. yeah, we see it. Yeah, so it's kind of uh, takes you out of Disney Island a little bit when you turn that corner here. I'm hoping to fix that up. Once yeah. So here, I don't know how the stream will do. I haven't walked over here yet, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try because you'll be able to see more of Star Wars land being built and that new train area. <laughs> All right. So you had to go to the sun. I'm getting kind of warm. <laughs> yeah, we kind of, we All right, really here have you go. country over here. That's a big difference, too. Yeah. Your critter country is kind of folded into Frontierland, right? Yeah. So there you go. There's the new train track with the waterfalls and Star Wars land. Oh, that's awesome. Magical News Live posted Kilimanjaro for Safari in HD. And I see that Star Wars land construction there. That's really cool. 
I love that. I see all the likes and hearts and stuff on the video. That's really cool. We can't see that on YouTube. Hey, guys, if you're, if you're loving this, give us a like or a heart or something. That's really cool to see them on the screen. I just now noticed that. All right. Hey, Lisa, we're gonna, I'm going to head back up. From uh, Mickey Travels. Well, there's Andrew and Crystal again. Wave hi. Hi, Crystal and Andrew. Uh, now it's getting a little choppy. Oh, there they come. <laughs> all the likes. Yay, thanks, guys. Look at all of them. <laughs> all right, I'm going to head over to our Splash Mountain entrance here. We just have to turn the corner and go in the front to uh, Critter Country. Goodbye to them. We're going to go uh, into the Briar Pass and say goodbye to the uh, people from uh, Geek Out Getaways and Buy a Free Project. Oh, we actually have a Briar Patch uh, store, too. You're welcome, too. I didn't. I know you got stuff. Okay. That's fine. We're going to go on YouTube here a little while, too. So, yeah. All right, guys. This is Bye. Viapri from Viapri Project, and there's Mindy. There she is. Yes, that looks good. Purchase approved. Bye. There's Geeked Out Getaways. Hi. All right, we're going to head out to the river. We have a Briar Patch store as well. Oh, cool. Oh, here, let me, let me swing around. There's the Briar Patch in Disneyland, and there's the one at Disney World. I love these when you can get something just like that. That's, yeah, the same. Is it the same thing? Yeah, it's a store. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Here, real quick. Real quick, I'm going to head over to uh, Critter Country here. Okay. Since we're here. This is the uh, main entrance to our Splash Mountain. Oh, here's our main entrance for Splash Mountain over here. 25 minute wait for Construction Mountain. Deja vu all over again. Yeah, drop. exactly. All right. And if we keep moving down, we have uh, the Winnie the Pooh ride right yes. here. Yes, ours is, of course, in Fantasyland. That's, that's crazy. It fits in Critter Country, yeah. though, actually, too. This replaced our Country Bears, of course. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Their, their poo ride replaced Country Bear Jamboree. Yes, and actually, if you uh, you may or may not know this, and for all of you watching, if you go on our Winnie the Pooh ride, there is a spot where you can turn around and look backwards at a wall, and we have the heads of the uh, the buffalo, the deer, and uh, what was the other one? Oh, cool. We have all three of the heads still there in their original spot. My daughter just clocked into work at Magic Kingdom. She's going to look for me. That's cool, Michael. So this is our Critter Country. This is the exit for Splash Mountain. Okay. We have a store I'm in the back Splash here. Mountain on this side. And then we have the meet and greet with Winnie the Pooh. Oh, there's Winnie the Pooh. And, yes, Lewis, that's right. Max Buff and Melvin, those are the, uh, the, the heads. Ah, thank you. Yes. <laughs> So this is the Scott. exit to our... Oh, here's, the, here's the parade. Yes, that is true, Brian. Pooh did kill uh, Toad and Country Bears. Yes. Oh, wait, no, we have we have Toad here still. All right, we're going to head on down the road here. Where are you headed to, Josh? Um, I think I'm just going to head on through Frontierland into Liberty Square, which you don't have one, so probably head towards fantasy land eventually because I think that's the closest land that we have that's, that's similar. Okay. I, we have a, a frontier land, but it's pretty much just stores and a firing range. Yeah. Uh, you don't have, you, you do have Tom Sawyer Island. Yes, we do. Which is straight ahead. Actually. In fact, if you look, okay, we can there look is that. the, that's the Columbia ship right there. Yeah, by the way, for, in the Winnie the Pooh ride at Disney World, there is a picture of Mr. Toad handing the deed to the ride to Winnie the Pooh. It's oh, interesting. Floor. It's on the floor where Owl is talking in his rocking chair. You have to look on the floor in that scene. Uh, Timothy says, smooth along. Yep, we're going to. <laughs> so this is our Tom Sawyer's Island, also called Pirate's Cove for us. 
Here you can't go into the fort. The parade music's really loud, so I'm going to try and keep my ear close to the phone. It's nice music, <laughs> though. Gregory. All right, I'm going to head. Hey, Gregory, how's it going? Gregory is watching with Heather. How's it going? <laughs> What'd you say, Britt? Um, you can't go in the fort in ours. Oh, okay. Let's see, and there's our Splash Mountain again. We're uh, we're headed down a, a secret trail. Not really secret, but one not used by a lot of people. Oh, by the Vine Big Thunder? Uh, this is actually where the, after the drop for Big Thunder, there's a little pathway over here that kind of gives a good view of the uh, Tom Sawyer's Island. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so uh, Heather said, hi, jo Gregory says, Josh, hi, my buddy. That's awesome. <laughs> he's an awesome, he's an awesome kid. I'm so glad I got to meet him. And Nick got a smooth, got another smooth. That's cool. Hey, Beautiful Josh, do you guys have guys. canoes there? What's that? Do you have canoes there? No, we used to have canoes and keel boats and the river boat, but now it's just the river boat. They did away with all of the other things. Oh, wow. Um, we had keel boats all the way up into the 90s, and I think they took them out in the 90s. Um, yeah. So you guys have canoes, too? Yes, we have canoes. Wow. It's really cool to do this during the day, because I know when you and Andrew did it, it was night. It was hard to see, but this is so, yeah. much, so much cooler. And then How's over here, this is the... Uh, Oops, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, I see my uncle Fred is watching. Um, Fred, uh, Becky, or, or the or the family uh, on the right is Disney World, and on the left is Disneyland. Go ahead. So this here is the Columbia Dock, and if you look out there, that's Pirates of the Caribbean. And then the rafts to go to the Island Dock to the right over here, where you see a raft. Oh, I see. Very crowded today. <laughs> All right, and since we're passing it anyway, I'm going to go by and look at Haunted Mansion one more time. Okay, I'm headed that way now. Oh, you know what? Since you're almost there, I'll go into the front of Haunted Mansion. All righty. And by the way, this is uh, this is on Resort TV One. We normally stream on YouTube, but YouTube doesn't allow the split screen stream like this. So definitely check us out on YouTube um, because that's where we do the majority of our videos. But this is a really cool opportunity, also. Uh, the stream on YouTube, I'm not really sure. That's a good question. There you go. And we're almost there. It's so funny, you're already at the mansion. <laughs> I do like, I that, do like that both... Go ahead. Oh, I like that both of our mansions are different from each other. The, not only the structure of the mansion itself, but the ride itself has a lot of key differences, which are really nice. Yeah. Jillian's watching from North Wales. That's awesome. Coast to coast and around the world. <laughs> Is Resort TV One promoting Disney? Well, we are, but we're not. We're not sponsored by Disney. Um, we're just. Uh, we just love it and we like to share it. Yeah, I'm going to go around to our entrance. It's a little bit on the crowded side at the moment. Yes. I will try and upload this to YouTube later. I think if I um, download it off of Facebook, I think I'll be able to upload it on YouTube. So we have a 45-minute wait for our Haunted Mansion at the moment again. Oh, I didn't see what the wait was for ours. I'll have to go back out. 
Riverside Resort Hopper, West Coast, Nature Resort Hopper, East Coast. <laughs> okay. Well, hit, hit the heart of the like if you like uh, Haunted Mansion. <laughs> so there you go. Both Haunted Mansions. And then, you, actually, if you look right behind our Haunted Mansion, you can see Splash Mountain sticking up uh, between the two ferns there. Yeah. Yeah, big difference is only the ride structure is the same. That's right. I like that Disney World and Disneyland have different lands, too. Like, you guys have New Orleans Square and Critter Country, and we have Liberty Square. How's it going, Jen? And this is the line for our Hunter Mansion going outside. Okay. Oh, we also have Mr. Toad over here in the graveyard. I can't zoom, but... Oh, yes. If you look, our graveyard's in the back there. No Mr. Toad, though. No Mr. Toad. Well, you guys have the ride, Mr. Toad, so there's no reason for a graveyard for Mr. Toad. <laughs> exactly. All right. So we were, yeah, we were, what was the line here, 45? Yeah, 45. All right, I'm going to, oh, man, Becky is watching. It is right, packed Becky. here at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got some of my family watching. That's awesome. To give you an idea how packed it is, this is the line for churros. The line for churros. Wow. <laughs> yes, weird that the line for haunted Man or the, the haunted mansions are different, so different, but the Splash Mountain is so similar. That's right. Yeah. And the funny thing is now we're at, we're at Small World. Your Small World's on the other side of the park at Disneyland. Exactly, yeah. I'm going to head towards uh, Frontierland. Some people are asking about the uh, entrance to our Big Thunder Mountain. Okay. I'm going to keep heading over towards Fantasyland here. Yeah, and we'll head, uh, once we get past Thunder Mountain, we'll uh, be heading towards Fantasyland. Okay. So Here's our Mark Twain. Go ahead. Okay. I was going to say, anybody that's joining us for the first time, we usually stream on YouTube. This is Resort TV One on YouTube, but we uh, are on Facebook to do a joint stream. So we appreciate Britt and Crystal and Andrew for joining us <laughs> over at Disneyland. Hey, Margie. And this here, that's our uh, where we have Fantasmic. All right. I think after Fantasyland or Tomorrowland, we'll, we'll have to end it here because I'm I'm starting to get pretty warm. Okay, no problem. So straight ahead, for those who are wondering where I am right now at Disneyland, on the left side, right ahead of us is the Golden Horseshoe. Oh, cool. And we're going to be entering into Frontierland. Modeling Disney, how's it going? And Dave Hilton, this is a joint stream. Disneyland on the left and Disney World on the right. And then straight ahead is Big Thunder Mountain. I'm going to attempt to go by the entrance to Star Wars Land. Hopefully the uh, quality is okay. Okay. Wow, snowing in Colorado. <laughs> So this is our Thunder Mountain, which is 40 minutes as well. It is very, very crowded here. Let's 
All right, guys, I'm going to hand it over to Toss, uh, CFL Park Hopper, so you can talk to you for a second so I can get a drink. It's getting pretty warm. So everybody say hi to Toss and CFL Park Hopper. We're looking at Prince Charming's carousel here in uh, Fantasyland. We're almost to our Big Thunder Mountain. Well, that was the entrance we just passed, but the uh, the mountain itself is around the corner here. There's no way no, you can hear right. them without holding their face right. off. <laughs> Grand reveal right here. Hi, Nick. Daphne says hi to you, Josh. Oh, hi, Daphne. Hi, Heather. Well, right, let's turn around and look at Fill Her Magic again. Fill Her Magic. Oh, he's over at Big Thunder. Yeah, he's totally on the opposite side of us. <laughs> We're streaming on Facebook because it's the only way we can do the stream from Disneyland and Disney World at the same time. All right, so we're going to attempt to go by the, where the entrance to Star Wars Land will be here at Disneyland. That's on the left side here. The entrance to um, Star Wars Land is actually going to be right behind Big Thunder Mountain. Okay, so I'm showing the entrance to where Star Wars Land is. Oh, Star Wars Land, and it's, it's by Big Thunder yeah. Mountain. Okay, cool. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully the uh, stream is holding up. It can kind of get iffy right in here. Oh, here comes the train. Where All we're right, so... Or we are over by Seven Dwarfs Mine. Here you go. It's almost like walking back to Small World at Disneyland. It kind of is that same direction. Yeah. Oh, there's this the, here. The entrance to Star Wars Land where they're at. Wow. At the bridge. Cool. So this right here, when you go underneath this bridge, we'll go all the way around. And you can see the uh, wall here. That big wall there will be the entrance to Star Wars Land. And this is underneath the new train tracks that they build. I'm like, shade, shade. It's very hot for like a marching band practice. <laughs> yep. Let's walk around here and give them a chance to catch up. Okay. So we're just kind of taking a break in fantasy land here. All right, give you guys an idea. So this is the interest of Star Wars land. If I pan around... That is our big Thunder Mountain. Okay. Oh, it's at a decent time in the UK. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and then there's a second entrance into Star Wars land. That's just around the corner here. I guess they just had to put it where they had room at Disneyland because it doesn't make sense next to How's the uh, but... stream looking right now? Is it pretty good? Most of the comments I've seen seem to say that it's pretty good. So all this you're seeing right here is brand new. These rocks here, this is all for uh, Star Wars Land. So, oh, it's a little jumpy now. And this right here, little jumpy. Yeah, it's a little pixelated on that. I, I don't know how ours is, but yours looks pixelated. Yeah, this is where this, the stream is the worst. Uh, Britt. Is it any better at this point? A little bit. So this is our second okay. entrance to Star Wars Land. And this, again, is all brand new. There it is right there. Yeah, unfortunately, where we are over here, the signal's just not all that great. So I'm going to head back. But, uh, yeah, this is all new here. This used to be where the uh, Big Thunder Ranch used to be. And that's all taken away. The petting zoo they used to have here, all of that is gone. And now those are the entrances to uh, Star Wars Land. Okay. All right, heading back. I'm going to be entering Fantasyland, finally. Oh, that's all right. 
I guess maybe we should head back to the middle so we can yep, prepare fans. Turn around. I got some construction on this side of the carousel over here. Yeah, they're probably doing some repainting. Sorry, it's a bit loud here. Ah, and just as you have construction walls up, we have construction walls as well. Our Casey Jr. ride looks like it's down for maintenance. Okay, sorry, I missed that. The carousel's loud. Actually, it looks like our Casey Jr., our Storybook Land, and Dumbo are down for maintenance at the moment. Oh, wow. Okay. So, over here, this is what used to be Village House for us. But now it is the Red Rose Tavern from Beauty and the Beast. Oh. Oh, is that where they are now? Yeah. I think that's what it is. You can tell. It's really hard to see. All right. This is our Pinocchio Village House. Yeah. A little bit. No. Oh. And for those who are just joining the stream and wondering, this is uh, Disneyland on the left side, and that's on the right side. We're both in. It's really hard to tell what he's looking at. <laughs> Let me see if I can see. Oh yeah, yours is pretty pixelated. Yeah, let's just head over back over here. Yeah, I can't really hear Britt. Are you guys going to see us here on the Disneyland side? Yeah. All right, sorry about that. There is, it's, Fantasyland is one of those dead areas here at Disneyland. It looks like Mr. Oh. Toad over here. And there's Belle. Which would be about right here for Disney World. There's Belle from uh, Beauty and the Beast in line for the carousel at the moment. I'll tell you what, let's head over to Tomorrowland and then I right. think we probably need to end it. Okay, just wanted to show real quick. Uh, here's our Mr. Sure. Toads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How are we coming in now? Is it looking pretty good? It's better now. Okay, good. And actually, so actually, this is our yeah, line is for Mr. Toads Wild Ride. This is the uh, no, corresponding not. area at Disney World, this Princess Fairy Tale Hall. It used to be Snow White. Because here's the castle right All here. All right, let me move... Here, I'll pan around so you can see our castle from the backside. And then we'll head towards Tomorrowland. All right, cool. Yeah, that area over by Dumbo at our park, it's just the, the quality has a drop out there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they've got the digital antenna, the uh, distributed antenna here a little bit better at Disney World, I think. Oh, and right here we have the Mad Hatter and the Pearly Pan. Sorry about the Disneyland blur. We're going to try and get to a little better signal over here. 
Yeah, there are a lot of places in Disneyland that unfortunately it doesn't work as I've been watching Brit streams a lot and he's kind of documented a lot of those areas. It's just uh, for whatever reason that uh, cell companies, I think Brit said it doesn't matter what company you're on at Disneyland, it pretty much just has problem areas. Yeah. Or have you have you tried AT and T or Verizon over there? Or I, I know I've heard those are pretty crowded, or even more crowded at Disneyland. All right, we're gonna head our way to Tomorrowland. Okay. Hopefully, the stream uh, can kind of be a little rough. We're just, we're gonna let's see. Uh, yeah, I think we'll head around this way to, towards the hub because it'll be easier to come in. This is our wishing well. Oh, yeah, our wishing well. We just passed it. It's right there. With the uh, dwarves and Snow White. <laughs> Disneyland is older. All right, now to spin Land around. <laughs> Here's our castle. We're a little close. This is me. Cousins. Wish okay. I could get just a little wider view on it. Everybody say bye to Tosh from CFL Park Hopper. Bye. So go check out her YouTube channel, guys, uh, CFL Park Hopper, and uh, she'll be joining me later. Yep. I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye. bye. <laughs> All right. We're going to head around to our Tomorrowland. Back to construction land. Uh, back to, yeah, construction with land. What, with what sounds like welding going on behind the walls at the moment. I'm having trouble hearing for the parade right now. Yep. <laughs> and we're at Tomorrowland. <laughs> we're about to turn the corner. All right, guys, that just shows you how close to the hub their astral orbiter is. Look at ours way off in the distance, and they're already at theirs. Oh, that's awesome. Miss Mary says she's wonderful technology, and she's really proud of me. Well, be proud of Britt, too, because he's the one who kind of turned me on to this. So this was totally his idea. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely think what... I think we'll definitely have to do this again. Oh, for sure. I wish it would work on YouTube so we, you know, have more yeah. people that could watch, but maybe they'll eventually have some way to do that. You know, I have some ideas that I'll, I'll try and see if I can figure out, and I'll run it by you, Josh, and we'll see if we can get it working eventually on YouTube. That would be really cool. We could even do it on a Friday Night Live. That would be really pretty neat. <laughs> yeah. And I think overall just YouTube streams better than Facebook does. Yeah, YouTube, I think, they just kind of ha have video down a little bit better than Facebook does. But, you know, Facebook kind of does yeah. everything. <laughs> John says, yes, please do this again. Absolutely. Yeah, we've had fun. I wish it wasn't so warm here. It's, it's really uh, tiring. I'm, like, out of breath. <laughs> Normally I'm not. <laughs> so I do wish that uh, our rockets were on the top. Yeah. They used to be. That would be cool. Yeah, they used to be. I wish your people mover. I wish they would have brought back your people mover. And then, of course, our Star Tours is right here. Which is basically almost where our uh, Monsters, Inc. laugh floor is. Yeah. Which I do enjoy Heather. that as well. Heather says we made her day. Thanks, Heather. Oh, yeah. Hey, Renee. Renee says she didn't miss it. Yeah. We're just about to end it, but you can go back and watch the replay. And we've been doing this for over an hour, I think, now. So, yay. Here, I'm going to turn left. Across from our Star Tours is our Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. Thanks, Dave. And thanks, Corey. Okay, Buzz Lightyear for us is right here. So ours, our entrance to Buzz is actually a little further away from the ride itself. There's our entrance, which 
35 minute wait for us. I'll take a lap How many minutes is yours? Then we can, then we, I'll show you a carousel. You guys don't have carousel. You have intervention. Ah, yes. <laughs> you guys have the people mover, and we have an empty track with nothing on it. We have nothing. We have uh, yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. The rocket Could've rod was a failed land. experiment. And then we have the Orbitron at the top there that used to spin and do funny little effects and stuff, and now it does nothing. Uh, uh, thanks, thanks, Julie. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Dave. And um, let's see. Renee says, I never got the notification. No worries, uh, Renee. Yeah, I don't think it's notifying everybody for some reason. So anyway. Thanks, Elaine. Joe. Both vlogs coming in perfect. Good. I said Disneyland is nice and clear. That's awesome. So here's here's our former carousel progress, which is now Star Wars Launch Bay. Oh, that's right. It's not Inventions anymore. It's Launch Bay. Yeah. And upstairs on that second level, they were, and they may not anymore because they're, the seats aren't up there anymore, but they had a paid firework experience where you could have, sort of like you guys have at your Tomorrowland Terrace, where you get ice cream and all that or, oh, yeah. or something like that. We used to have that up there. That's cool. Gregory is over the moon. That's awesome, Heather. And Renee, I'm glad you caught part of it live, too. And Paula says, clear as a bell. Awesome. We have a Jedi over here now we have a stage here you guys kind of have a stage i think but it's closer to your restaurant yes if i turn you know <laughs> So if I turn over here, that's our Tomorrowland Terrace restaurant. And we're about to do the Jedi show. And uh, this is the stage, and I'll walk around here. This is the stage for our Jedi Training Academy, which is the Trials, Trials of the, of the Temple training. now. Temple. Okay. Yes. No so here, this is where our Jedi show is. Okay, cool. And yes, uh, our, our Disneyland host name is Britt. And his crew, uh, Crystal and Andrew. And then up here is the eating area for the Tomorrowland Terrace restaurant. Hey, Josh, are you near your uh, Space Mountain? I'm right here. Yep, I'm right by it. Okay, we'll head back over to Space Mountain now. Okay. Yes, my name is Britt. I'm aviation photography on the uh, chat when uh, Resort TV One does the streams. Yes, yep. Oh, guys, okay, the Space Mountains do look a lot different, I think. Yours is more narrow and vertical. Ours is more kind of wide. I'm going to lift the uh, camera up so I won't be able to hear for a sec, just so you have a better view of Space Mountain. Okay. Yes, Lynn, they're definitely both special and unique. We love both places. It's really cool to show off the differences. It definitely makes it worth a visit to both parks. So there you can see Space Mountain above uh, Star Wars Path of the Jedi. That's a little, uh, that's in the old Captain EO theater. And it's oh. a uh, retrospective look at all the Star Wars movies. Cool. Now for a while, wasn't that uh, Captain EO for a while? Yes, that's the original Captain EO. I think that's the original. Um, and then it became um, Honey, We Shrunk the Audience. And then it went back to Captain EO. And now it's Star Wars Path of the Jedi. Okay. And our entrance to Space Mountain. Corey says, thank you, Britt and crew, for a great job and being part of the Hopper family. Absolutely. This is awesome. We're happy to do this. It's fun. 
So there you go. We have a 65 minute wait for our uh, Space Mountain. We are at 120. Woo! Yeah, almost double. Heather says ours is definitely more squished. <laughs> Actually, I think Disney, and then you yeah, get, Disneyland's more squished for sure, but uh, there's a lot more in Disneyland, here, actually. They put a lot in a small area. Yeah. Josh, do a 360 going right from your Space Mountain just so people can see how much bigger your uh, Tomorrowland is from ours. 360 going right. Got it. Oh, you're welcome, Renee. Yes, Disneyland has more trees. This is our Pizza Port restaurant right here. And then back. So you can see their one is a lot more wide open than ours. Yeah. And now we're back. Wow. All right. Why don't okay. we, um, I'm going to head over real quick to um, the submarines, since that's kind of an iconic Disney thing. The what? I'm going to head over to uh, the Finding Nemo submarines. Okay, yeah. I'll head over to, uh, I guess, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. That's, that would be where our submarines used to be. Maybe we can end it there. Okay. And I'm going to try and see if I can find where Crystal and Andrew went so they can uh, pop in again. Okay. I want to get some 360 video while the weather's still nice here. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to head back real really quick. Go ahead. Oh, I'm just going to head back real quick and try and see if I can find Andrew and Crystal. Yeah, no worries. I was going to say, every time I've been here in the last uh, couple months, it's been cloudy. <laughs> it's finally sunny. That's good, yeah. It's funny how, uh, you know, normally sunny Southern California is a lot more cloudy and rainy looking than uh, Magic Kingdom, which seems to always be raining. Yeah, that is very, very funny. And actually, according to the weather report, it's supposed to be raining here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Wow. But we, so far yet, this winter season, we've only had one day of rain, so we kind of need it out here. Yeah, you need it. Beautiful today for sure. Oh, here, actually, uh, why don't you stay really quickly right there, and I will head over, because to the right here is our Autopia. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're, um, somebody asked if I was going to switch to YouTube in a little while, but I need, uh, I need to get some videos before I do any more streams. Somebody, yeah, so I won't go, I won't be going on YouTube right away. Oh, got some troopers right here. Uh-oh. All right. So here is our Autopia. Hey, that's almost Very a cool. perfect uh, perspective line right there between our sign and your sign. Yeah. So you can't really see our cars here, but uh, pretty much I think they're the exact same cars. Here, let me pan down, and you can kind of see them through here. Sorry, All right, we're going to head over by. Really go anywhere. I'm not sure where Andrew went. He kind of disappeared. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna head. I'm gonna head back towards the castle, I think, and uh, we'll uh, we'll end it up. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Okay. So this is our monorail at the very top there, with the station inside the park. Oh yeah, that's right. And then the yeah, and we have two stops. We have uh, one here and one in downtown Disney. And then this is our. Finding Nemo Submarine Lagoon. Yeah, that's a really cool ride, Finding Nemo. But 
by the way, uh, I All guess right. I didn't think about this, but Britt, you're welcome to keep streaming a little bit because it will just go away from split screen, but you're welcome to keep going. <laughs> Okay, I guess I could do that. We can stream for a little bit. I can hand it over to Andrew, and Andrew can do maybe a little tour. Yeah, it's totally up to you. I mean, you don't have to. I'm just saying, um, you know, yeah. you can. So. And then here's our Matterhorn. Oh, thanks, Chris. And Autopia is a cool name. Here's a first look at the Submarine Lagoon. That is really cool. All right, we'll head around here to the viewpoint. Oh yeah, I remember that viewpoint. Love that place. All right, and here we go, grand reveal. It'll and of course, around. there's no submarines going by at the moment. Huh. And for those of you who are just joining us, uh, on the left side, this is Disneyland, California. We're actually at the uh, Finding Nemo submarine voyage ride. And then on the right side, Josh, if you want to take it away. On the right side is uh, Disney World, and this is uh, Cosmic Rays Cafe on the right here. Oh, here you go. Picturesque moment. Here we go. Ready? Oh, yeah, I see it. Very cool. With our futuristic monorails. Very cool. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap mine up. And uh, Britt, I think, is going to go for a little longer. So I'm definitely fun, uh, curious to watch that. But i got to get out of the sun for a second. <laughs> so, um, so it's All been right. really fun. Yes, yes. And we will definitely uh, have to plan a day and do that again, hopefully in a day where it's sunny out. Yes. Yeah, we could get both sunny places. That would be a, that would be a, a feat. <laughs> Here, I'm, I'm going to switch the stream around so you can see us, Josh. Okay, I'll do the same. There we go. There we go. Hello. Here, here. Let's go around this way. We'll switch around so we have a, a nice uh, viewpoint in our back. There you go. Whoop. Long way. Long way. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys. There we go. Any day now. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, Josh. Go, Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you to Britt. And Crystal and Andrew from Aviation Photography, and uh, I'll sign off, but the rest of you guys can keep watching for a little while, so I will say my goodbye. So for now, have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. Hello again. We are here at Disneyland, California, so we're going to stream for just a little bit longer here. We're going to walk around and kind of see uh, different parts of the park we didn't get to yet. If you guys have any requests or areas you'd like us to go, let us know. All right, so we're going to let us know if the stream kind of cuts out a little bit here. We're going to head around and go over by Small World. Um, you know, I don't know um, what the temperature is at the moment. I think somebody else posted that it was about 65 here. Yeah, the clouds are slowly burning off here. Um, it's supposed to be raining in the next few days, however. And uh, now you're seeing this. Uh, this is the area in front of Matterhorn Bobsleds and uh, Autopia, right between the two. Once we come around the corner here, we'll be uh, headed towards Small World. 
You know, I don't know why it's crowded here. It might just be because it's a Saturday. And, you know, that's the thing with Disneyland now. Everything is uh, crowded here. There, there really isn't an off day anymore. Like, right now should be the time where the parks are the least amount of people here, but they're still crowded. Uh, Johnny, no, I don't stream regularly. This is kind of something uh, a little bit new. I do test uh, streams every now and then here at uh, Disneyland and all of that. And sometimes on my personal profile, I'll do a 360 stream. Josh and I have kind of been going back and forth and testing out new technologies. Here's a little bit of uh, Disney trivia for you. Our small world was actually used in the filming of the movie Tomorrowland. They dressed it up to look like it was from the World's Fair, but it was pretty much uh, our small world. You know, it could be both uh, tourists and um, Locals, it's probably mostly locals. The annual pass holders here are very numerous, unlike Walt Disney World, where it's a lot of um, tourists. Yeah, like yeah, about 75%, I would imagine, on a given day are probably annual pass holders. So there you go. There's our... <laughs> yes. And they used to have the little dolls that would go around the front, but those look like they're broken at the moment. Everything is just... Yes, everything. If I, if I pan to the right here, you will see more construction walls. And that loud humming you're hearing in the background, I think, is construction equipment. All right, so we're going to go over to Toontown, since some of you were asking to see that. Here, I'll give a, a look at the Matterhorn as we go by. All right. And guys, if, uh, if the stream gets a little choppy, let me know. Because on my stream, the stream always looks perfect. So I can't tell how good or bad it looks. Um, you know, I don't know if we have a nighttime parade at the moment. Let me check my map. Oh, here. Crystal's going to check. Oh, wait. Um, we have our Fantasmic Night Show. But, no, I don't think we have any parades at the moment. No, we have the Mickey Show at 8. Oh, we do have. Let me stop here before I go into Toontown. And then we have Swing Camp thing at night as well. This is our Fantasyland Theater. Right now it plays... Actually, today it's doing the Disney Performing Arts... But normally, it plays Mickey and the Magical Map. Uh, this is Disneyland, California in the United States. Okay, a side look at Small World. And here, if I walk over here, you can see Stroller Land. And here's a look at some of the boats for Small World. All right, let's head into Toontown, which just celebrated its uh, birthday recently. I believe it was the 25th anniversary of Toontown. Was it the 25th anniversary of Toontown? All right, so this is our Toontown here. Yeah, Corey, it is, uh, it is weird. For us, it's weird going to the Walt Disney World and having it all inside. Uh, we did have Paint the Night, and I believe Paint the Night is coming back, maybe?
1994 is when it opened. Okay. So we're back here. Okay, so it was the 24th anniversary of Toontown this year. All right, so this here is Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin. All right, perfect, John. Yeah, Paint the Night Parade will be back at DCA soon. I have to tell you all, I miss Parade of Dreams. That was from the Year of a Million Dreams. I miss that parade. That was such an awesome parade. So Toontown's a little bit on the crowded side. And then here's a fun little thing you can do if you're in Toontown. Let's see if somebody will go and pull on the door. I don't know if you guys could see that. But it flashes and it makes all these electrical sounds. All right, heading back into the main Toontown area. We used to have the Jolly Trolley car that used to go through here. And there you can see more construction in the background on Star Wars Land. You know, we, we Johnny, we might do that. We've thought about that. We haven't really... Uh, done much with it, but that might be something we do. So this is Goofy's house right here. Looks a little wacky. And in fact, Goofy is right in front of his house. All right, I'm going to pan around here. Roger, we're not actually on YouTube right now. We're on Facebook. And right now, this is uh, aviation photography. Brit streaming from Disneyland, California. All right, so these two houses here are kind of famous. Famous in the fact that that's Minnie's house right there. She's probably inside. And then over here is Mickey Mouse's house. And then in the tree house in the back there that you can kind of see, that's Chip and Dale's house. And this is Gadget's Go Coaster. Renee, Minnie's house is right back there. It's that kind of purplish blue house behind the, uh, the pink colored tree. And that's Mickey's house right next door. Very convenient. They have houses right next to each other. And actually, you can't see her all that well, but if you look in the background there at the wishing well, Minnie is back there at the moment. Yes, Lewis, that is literally the 30. The Gadget Go Coaster is one of the shortest rides, I think, here at Disneyland. You get on the ride, and pretty much you're still sitting, like getting seated in the ride, and the ride is over. All right, and look over at Goofy's house again. Also convenient that all of them have a house together on the same cul-de-sac. And then, uh, is that Donald's boat? Okay, that's Donald's boat over there.
So if I pan around, there's Goofy's house, Donald's boat, Gadget's go coaster, and deep in the back there is Chip and Dale's tree house, Mickey's house, and Minnie's house. And of course, Pluto lives at Mickey's house, right? Yeah. Yeah, he has a dog Okay, so Pluto lives, he has his dog house at Mickey's house. So there you go, there's the Fab Five's uh, house. And then here's one of the Jolly Trolleys right here that used to go around. Hey, Jenna. Josh signed off, so it's just us. We're streaming from uh, Disneyland for a little while longer. There you go. That is Tilton here at Disneyland, California. So we're going to head back. If you guys have any more requests of where you'd like us to go, let us know. And for those of you who uh, are just joining in with us, earlier we did a dual live stream with Josh and Walt Disney World, and uh, me, I'm Britt, Aviation Photography, here at Disneyland, California. Josh has signed off, so now we're going to keep going a little bit with uh, Disneyland here. And again, to our left as we exit Toontown, the small world. Sure, we'll try and head over to Frontierland, and that way we can uh, get some video of that, and we can also show the petrified tree. Oh, we might be able to go to DCA. All right, and here's a look at the Matterhorn again. With the monorail right underneath. Sorry for the uh, bad exposure. It's a little cloudy here, so it kind of messes with the exposure. No problem, Kathleen. What does it mean? Where is the Mouse family? Yes. I believe they're at Epcot. They're not here. Uh, Jamie, I'm Aviation Photography on YouTube. I don't do too much with that account. And for everybody watching also, this is a, a special broadcast for Resort TV One. And if you're not already, go subscribe to them on YouTube. That's Resort TV One. There you go, another look at the Matterhorn. All right, so we are about to go through Fantasyland, which means that uh, we're going to get a... Actually, you know, we're going to cut between the uh, Matterhorn and Alice in Wonderland. Hopefully the, um, hopefully the stream keeps up. We had a little problem with the stream buffering a little bit today. Here's our teacups. And then our Alice in Wonderland ride. Thank you. 
And then the Cheshire Cat. Have fun, Jenna. Hello from Disneyland. Oh, that's pretty cool, Corey. All right, so we're headed back towards the uh, main hub here. On our left side, that is now Pixie Hollow. It used to be where you could meet Ariel at Triton's Gardens, but now it is Pixie Hollow where you meet Tinkerbell. No problem, Julie. Take care. Glad you enjoyed the stream. All right. Here we go. We're going to walk through the hub and head over to Frontierland. To the right right now is the castle. And the delicious smell of churros. Is there a time capsule in front of the, is there a time capsule in front of the castle? What? Is there a time capsule over here? Yeah. Oh, there is. Is that in the center here? Oh, here we go. We're headed back right now real quick. We're going to go see the time capsule. All right. They pan down here. So the time capsule here. I'll have Andrew explain it. What do you want me to explain? It's a time capsule under there. Go look at the plaque and the plaque will have more. I can read that. See if I can... The bottom says, a time capsule containing Disneyland memories, messages, and milestones lies beneath this spot. The Disneyland time capsule is dedicated to the children of the 21st century who may unlock its contents on the 80th anniversary of Disneyland, July 17, 2035. Just a couple more years to go. Yeah, we're not that far. Can you give me an idea of where that is? Right in front of the castle. All right. To the right, they're doing another show at the Royal Theater. We've got Belle there again. Renee, mine is aviation photography, all one word. And then if all of you watching, this is uh, Resort TV One that we're doing this through. This is a special live stream from Disneyland. All right, we're heading into Frontierland. Timothy, I will for sure. If we start doing this, uh I will let Josh know and all that, and we'll probably do a lot of things together if we do. 
All right, so this is Frontierland. We have our Westward Trading Company. That's our pin store. And then over here is our shooting gallery. We have our Rancho del Zocalo on the right side. That's a Mexican restaurant. Then on the left, we have uh, a big, long store that's mostly closed. Mostly closed. And then our Golden Horseshoe Saloon. And then on the right side over there, that's Big Thunder Mountain. No, we do not have Country Bear Jamboree. That was replaced by the Winnie the Pooh ride. And there you go. We are out of Frontierland now. That's how quick it is here at Disneyland. And it looks like the Columbia pirate ship is about to come in and dock. Come around the side here, and that way you guys can see the Columbia dock here. Oh, we do have Tom Sawyer's Island. That's over here. It might be Pirates Day. Or is it still both? Yeah. It's either Pirates Cove or Tom Sawyer's Island. I think we just all call it Tom Sawyer's Island. All right. And then I had somebody who wanted to see the petrified tree. Tree. This was presented to Disneyland by Miss Walt Disney on September 1957. The joke is this is the oldest attraction here at the park. a look at our Pirates Cove slash Tom Sawyer Island. We still have canoes here. That island is also where they do Phantasmic here at Disneyland. We're heading towards the entrance to Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, I don't know the current price to get in. I know it's over $100. I have an annual pass, so I haven't seen what the actual ticket prices are in a long time. All right, here's our Pirates of the Caribbean. And it is 40 minutes long wait still, which earlier when Josh went by at Pirates of the Caribbean there at Walt Disney World, it was only 35. To give you an idea how long this line is, it starts here, goes way into New Orleans, goes back up over this bridge here, those are people in line up there, switches back, comes back down the bridge, comes back into this line, 
and then it zigzags inside there for a while. <laughs> from that point. Forty minute wait on there. When uh, Josh was uh, watching earlier, it was uh, 35 at there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Renee, it is aviation photography. All right, so we're going to try and go around the parts of the Caribbean line because we haven't yet walked through New Orleans, which Walt Disney World does not have a New Orleans square. This is still the line for Pirates of the Caribbean. All right. And then to give you an idea, I'm doing a little 360 here. So you can see just how crowded it is today at Disneyland. So peeking through the trees right about the middle, that's the Matterhorn. Over here we have the Columbia Pirate Ship and Canoes. And Tom Sawyer's Island, a.k.a. Pirate's Cove. Over in that direction, kind of hidden behind the trees, is the Haunted Mansion. Not in Tiana's in the crowd there, if you look. She's been making her way around New Orleans today. And then over here we have the French Market Cafe. I forget the name of this one here. This has the Monte Crisco. Cafe New Orleans. That's what it is. Cafe Orleans. Okay. And then right above Cafe Orleans. In that window there, and on those balconies, that is Club 33. It's a secret. It's a secret. Nobody knows it's there. All right. And then there's the entrance into New Orleans Square. And then that's the line. Straight ahead is the line for bread bowls. And then we end on Pirates of the Caribbean's line, uh, line there. And upstairs above Pirates of the Caribbean, where those stairs go, that used to be the dream suite. During the Year of a Million Dreams, you could actually win a night's stay up there. And you can watch Fantasmic from that balcony up there. Now they've converted it, apparently, into a restaurant that costs $15,000. And you get to rent it out for 35 people. There's no exclusivity to it like Club 33. However, it's $15,000. So there you go. Here's a panoramic view of New Orleans and just how incredibly crazy crowded it is here at Disneyland today. All right, so we're going to head down into New Orleans. Josh, can't wait to see the 360 on Main Street. <laughs> All right, we're heading into New Orleans. Right ahead of us there, that's the Haunted Mansion um, slash Nightmare Before Christmas store. Let's hope the stream uh, keeps going here. Can be a little iffy in New Orleans. To the left there, this is the exit for Pirates of the Caribbean. Sounds good, Josh. We're almost done here. To the left here, this is the Blue Bayou restaurant. So this 
this is New Orleans. And then we have a crystal store over here. And then here's another secret. Here's the secret entrance into Club 33. There you go, that's the entrance into Club 33. Can you hear us all right now? $15,000 a year for Club 33. Oh, sure. I don't know. It's and then it's over $100 to just eat there. If you look to the left, that is on a mansion and the entrance to the train station there. It's very crowded. I'm sure. All right, we're going to head down here with the picturesque uh, Columbia ship in the background. We're going to end the stream here because we need to go have some lunch and all that. So give you one more view here of Tom Sawyer's Island and the Columbia Pirate Ship. All right, I'm going to change the phone around here. Crystal and Andrew. We're going to say uh, goodbye. Thanks for joining us here at the stream here at Disneyland California. Um, we'll definitely try and do this again. We split screen. It's a lot of fun. And so we uh, hope you all have a magical day. So, uh, in the words of Josh, <laughs> have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye bye